flight records two significant events in the history of the State of Israel and the region, region building another step towards regional peace. From President Trump's very first trip as president, when he has been writing a script for a new Middle East. I'm glad that those critics have been proven wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, shalom and welcome on, on board Elao flight number 971 uh, from Tel Aviv to Abu Dhabi. This is Captain Talbekir speaking. We are very pleasant to host you on board the historic flight from Tel Aviv to Abu Dhabi. This flight records two significant events in the history of the State of Israel and the region, region building another step towards regional peace. For the very first time, Israeli register, an Israeli registered aircraft will overfly Saudi Arabia and after a non-stop flight from Israel, land in the United Arab Emirates. The duration of the flight with a shortened route over Saudi Arabia will be approximately 3 hours and 20 minutes instead of what it would have been more than 7 hours up to now. Yet we could not seal this historic peace with the Emirates and with others that are in line without the tremendous support of our great and loyal friends from the United States of America. Jared, from the start you said that more countries would make peace with Israel. You were um, dismissed, sometimes ridiculed, scoffed at. Well, I'm glad I'll be charitable. I'm glad that those critics have been proven wrong, dead wrong. Uh, it's true that some countries still hold out, making the perfunctory statements in support of Palestinian demands, but we know that reality has changed because we have changed it. We are changing it as we speak. Uh, and I want to thank you for everything that you are doing in this regard. And then finally, on August 13th, not finally, just the last, there'll be a lot more to come. <laughs> On August 13th, President Trump, Prime Minister Netanyahu, and the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Zayed announced a historic peace agreement that will create previously unthinkable economic and security, uh, religious opportunities between the two, two of the greatest countries in this region. From President Trump's very first trip as president, when he went to Saudi Arabia and he addressed the 54 leaders of Arab and Muslim countries, and then went to Israel and then to Rome, he has been writing a script for a new Middle East. President Trump has been standing strongly with America's friends to accomplish our common goals and to defeat our common enemies. He has reversed 20 years of bad outcomes in the Middle East, and he has built a strong foundation for gr even greater progress to be made. While this peace agreement was thought by many to be impossible, the stage is now set for even more, 
Over the last three and a half years, a lot of people describe the state of the Middle East as hopeless. But what I've felt over the last couple of weeks is a new sense of optimism, and we must seize that optimism, and we must continue to push to make this region achieve the potential that it truly has. Over the last two weeks alone, the United Arab Emirates and Israel have opened direct phone connections, have had calls between two countries' officials from the health and the foreign ministers. They've seen an end to the economic boycott of Israel after 48 years, and they've closed the first of what will be hopefully be many business deals to come. And then tomorrow, very proudly, I will be taking the first ever commercial flight from Israel to the United Arab Emirates, El Al Flight 971.